Hi everyone, I know that many of you use my desktop layout protection software in order to secure desktops of publicly accessed computers or computers shared among multiple users. And despite this little program uh, protects your desktop layout uh, very well, it's not actually designed to work in extreme conditions of publicly accessed environment. And if you use this program for that, your computer will not be 100% secure because uh, your users still have access to Windows operating environment and still can uh, go to control panel, change things, start uh, command prompt and do some advanced stuff that can eventually compromise security of this computer. So for this purpose I have public PC desktop software and this is its main configuration utility window. The beauty of public PC desktop software is uh, it doesn't restrict access to different parts of Windows. There is no need to. It offers a complete Windows desktop replacement when it's in the locked mode and this uh, complete desktop uh, replacement uh, application it isolates your users from the Windows environment. It means that uh, once your users get into the locked mode they can still execute some applications, surf the internet, but they no longer interact with uh, Windows directly. They cannot uh, go to control panel, change things. They can only start the programs that you specify and they can only surf the websites that you allow. And now I'm gonna show you how it works. You start from uh, configuring a master password. Master password is used uh, when you want to unlock your computer. By default, your computer is going to be locked and the shell replacement application will always be started so that your user, users uh, wouldn't have any chance to get to the windows and uh, cripple it. So I create my master password and uh, next thing I need to do is to create user accounts. These are not Windows user accounts. These are virtual accounts which will be used only in public PC desktop software for your users to access locked desktops. And I add one user, let's say Max. and I define a password for it. And we have now one user which can access our locked computer. Now we need to allow our users to open certain applications and to navigate certain websites. So I go to shortcuts and I add one shortcut and I want to add one internet shortcut let's say for Gmail We can uh, use various security options when we create an internet shortcut. We can uh, hide browser toolbar, disallow downloads, uh, disable pop-ups and other stuff which you may want to use if you, let's say, set up uh, a kiosk for your store and you want to allow your users to navigate your website only without uh, any ability to go anywhere else but we'll just keep the default options uh, for demonstration purposes and this is our shortcut it's created and it's in the list the last thing I want to restrict is uh, I want my users to go to Gmail website only and I don't want them to go anywhere else so I select the allowed URLs tab and I uh, want to whitelist only one website.
And that's done. Now my users can only go to gmail.com and cannot go anywhere else. And now we can lock our machine. We press uh, the lock button and uh, press the reboot and lock workstation. Okay, the computer rebooted and uh, now Windows uh, loaded in a locked mode. It means that our Windows uh, shell replacement application is loaded and it now protects uh, your computer 100%. You press the start button and uh, this shortcut which we created earlier is opened and uh, you can see that uh, the safe web browser opens uh, Gmail website as we specified. And if a uh, user tries to go anywhere else, he gets uh, this notification that uh, Yahoo website is blacklisted. So he cannot navigate it. The reason why desktop is black is because we didn't specify a background image yet. And uh, if you go back to the configuration utility, you can specify it and change it to your company's uh, logo or a special uh, designed uh, background or anything you want. If you want to change settings, you press the administer button and you choose the configuration item and enter your master password. Press the configure button and uh, you see this configuration window again and you can change your settings. If you want to unlock your workstation, you press the administer button and uh, press the unlock workstation. Again, you enter your master password, press the unlock button and you, after reboot, return to your unlocked Windows desktop. And we are back. We can start public PC desktop software configuration utility again. And we can do other changes uh, and test them. Once you lock your workstation with the lock button, it will uh, stay locked every time you reboot your computer, start it or shut down and restart it again. The program will always stay in the locked mode and this uh, desktop replacement application will always be active and will always protect your Windows system. And that was a quick demonstration of public PC desktop software available on my website. Thank you for listening.